Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today we will learn about medial collateral ligament injury grading on MRI. The medial collateral ligament, or MCL, is one of the key ligaments that stabilizes the inner side of your knee. It runs from the femur to the tibia. Its main job is to prevent the knee from buckling inward, especially when there's a force pushing the knee from the outside. We call that a valgus force. Now, injuries to the MCL are common in sports such as football or skiing. We classify them into three grades. Grade 1 is a mild sprain. The ligament is stretched but still intact. Grade 2 is a partial tear. There is more pain and some instability. Grade 3 is a complete tear. The ligament is totally disrupted and the knee feels unstable. We use MRI to assess how bad the injury is and treatment depends on the grade. Most heal well with rest and physical therapy, but severe cases may need bracing or even surgery. We will compare the normal appearance of the MCL with images showing MCL injury. These are coronal images of the knee. The coronal plane is very good in evaluating the medial collateral ligament. Proton density fat suppressed sequence enhances the visibility of edema and injury to the ligaments. A T2 fat suppressed sequence is also helpful. In this image, this bone is the femur and this bone is the tibia. In a proton density fat suppressed image, the femur and the tibia appear dark. High pointance. This high pointance dark fibrous band which is connected to the femur and the tibia is the medial collateral ligament. This is how the normal ligament appears. Fluid appears bright or hyperintense. This ligament is not surrounded by bright areas. A very small amount of fluid is normal. In the image on the right, a grade 1 injury is seen. The dark band, the ligament, is surrounded by some hyperintense fluid. This indicates hemorrhage and edema due to trauma. The edema is mild. The ligament fibers are intact. There is no disruption or tear in the ligament. Only fluid is present, so this is a grade 1 MCL injury. Here is another case showing a grade 1 MCL injury. The MCL is surrounded by some hyperintense bright fluid. The ligament fibers are intact. No tear or disruption is present in the ligament. A bone contusion is also present in the femur. In a grade 2 MCL injury, a partial tear is present in the ligament. These are T2 weighted images. In the normal image, the MCL is not surrounded by significant hyperintense fluid and the ligament has no tear or disruption. In this image, however, a partial disruption or tear is present in the ligament near its attachment with the femur. The fluid is more significant than in grade 1. The MCL appears irregular and thickened. It may even appear wavy in some cases. However, a complete tear is not present. So this is graded as grade 2. This image shows many increased signals within the MCL. There are many bright, hyper-intense areas within and around the MCL. However, a complete tear is not seen, so this is graded as grade 2 MCL injury. In this, there is a partial disruption seen near the femoral attachment of the MCL. Significant fluid is also present. The edema is not mild, so this is classified as grade 2. Grade 3 MCL injuries include complete rupture of the MCL. A complete tear is present in the ligament in this case. The dark fibrous band is completely disrupted by the bright fluid. This indicates a complete tear. The ligament may become retracted in some cases. It will appear somewhat folded and move away from the point of rupture. 
Associated findings may also include meniscal injury or ACL tear. These are T2 fat suppressed images. The normal MCL appears as a dark hypointense fibrous band with no hyperintense bright fluid surrounding it in this sequence. In this image on the right, a complete MCL tear is present. The ligament fiber is not seen in its original location. Instead, there is a large collection of fluid and blood present in this region. The MCL has retracted due to a complete rupture. In this case, a complete rupture is present in the MCL at its tibial attachment. The ligament has retracted due to this rupture and appears folded. The normal MCL appears as a dark fibrous band with no disruption or fluid surrounding it. This MCL is surrounded by bright hyperintense fluid. Such features indicate a grade 3 MCL injury. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.